is on fire. If you want to save millions of lives, we can use some help. We'll start with you. Uh, Godzilla, he's been around for nearly 70 years. Um, was that a, a film title that you wanted to check off your uh, bucket list? Yeah, I'm, that, that you've pointed it out. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to know that I'm a little older than Godzilla, so I'm looking at it. <laughs> he came along after I did. <laughs> Godzilla is just a fun, listen, when you're presented with something like this, um, Godzilla is just a, a look. You, you, it makes you say, hmm, Godzilla, well, okay, what, what do we got here? Uh, and then when they started talking about it, we kind of looked at each other and said, well, okay, we want to elevate this thing to as much as we can. And it is an interesting concept, the two of us playing the same character. So that, that was certainly what drew, drew, uh, drew us to it or drew me to it for sure. Um, Wyatt, I'm sure you had lots of people pitching you over the years to do stuff with your dad. Um, this is different. You're both, this is unique. You're both playing the same character. Um, did you go back and watch some of Dad's old movies to sort of uh, to brush up on how to play a young, a younger Kurt Russell? Quickly change your mind. Yeah, <laughs> I watched Best of Times on a loop <laughs> <laughs> for seventy two hours. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not going to do any of that. Yeah, and then I watched <laughs> Hawaii Five O, where he played an Eastern European tennis player for a week. <laughs> and then I was ready. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I didn't. <laughs> I, I love my dad's movies. I'm a fan of, I'm a Kurt Russell fan. Um, but no, I, this was, everything that was great about his movies is that they're all unique. And the things that I've done, I've tried to make uh, all unique and a pick, picked unique things. Um, or at least I hope so. And that uh, that wasn't going to change on this, so uh, we wanted it to be as good as the the idea was unique, and and that was the challenge. That was fun. So you work together on doing it, and um, yeah, that that was most of most of what you see was done, I'd say, in pre production uh, before we ever set foot on on set, and that was that was where a lot of the fun started. We were cast. Uh, in it, but the role wasn't written for us, so there was a lot of work to do. It was, it, you know, what what there is, what it became was quite. It's quite different than what it, what it originally was. Did you two learn anything different about one another do, uh, doing uh, this role? Uh, not a whole uh, lot. Why? You know, not really. I've been uh, trying to think of something because we've been asked that um, multiple times, and <laughs> I can't. It just. I didn't learn anything about my dad. Like it's just everything that you know is accentuated. I guess that's the, one th the what you already know is accentuated because uh, you're seeing other people experience it. So that that's that was that problem. And I had the opportunity to learn a little more ab about him as an actor because when I was not working, I had the ability, unlike Wyatt, I had the ability to go to his set and watch Wyatt in his in, in the kind of like in their pod, you know, with with Marion Anders or Wyatt in the fight scene when you first meet him. And I was getting to see, what was f fun about it for me was I was getting to see this actor. I, very quickly it stopped being Wyatt and it was just I'm like watching this actor lay down the role that we're gonna play together and be be the same. I'm gonna be I'm older, but it's the same human being. And uh, it was, I, I, you know, I, I was, I'd learned that I, I was a little surprised at how comfortable it made me feel. Like, yeah, I think this is going to work. Um, I know how to do that. I know how to do that. And that's comfortable and right. And I very quickly could begin to see the things that he and I had talked about with the, with the two guys, with, with, with Chris and Matt, in terms of writing what it was. I could begin to see what was going to work. And so did they, which, was, which is a positive thing. Um, Wyatt, I know you were a hockey player. Kurt, I did not know that you were a baseball player though until maybe like ten years ago. So, both athletes, what did? How did that prepare you? It it, it prepares you for life um, if you let it. 
uh, it, it prepares you for, for life and because you have to deal with all different emotions, lots of different personalities, lots of different uh, failures and successes and how you put those things in perspective. Um, once you're done, you have to deal with uh, entering the world as, I guess, you know, in a way, a civilian. You, yeah, it's, it's a totally different life and a different schedule. So there's lots of things that you have to deal with um, as an athlete that when you get into film and acting, kind of directly translates. Be on time, be a good team player, uh, know your lines, you know, me, know your role would be what it would be called in sports. Um, perform that role to the best of your ability. Don't worry about what other people, what other people uh, do and say. You can't control it. Just go out and be the best teammate you can be. Those kind of things, they all translate like directly to acting. I have nothing to add to that. That's, <clears throat> that's like listening to myself in my head. <laughs> what? They, what's Monarch? This is the world we live in. Monsters are an inescapable reality. 